Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm Brandon Wirtz, and I'm here with... Les Stewart. I'm a distinguished architect uh, focusing on management systems with Hewlett Packard. And we're going to talk about IMC. Can you tell me what IMC stands for? IMC, Intelligent Management Center. This is um, our next generation management solution for our flex fabric infrastructures. And it's a unified console for for all of my flex architecture, but it also works with other products. Absolutely, and and what I mean by what we mean by a, a unified architecture is when people think about network management, they traditionally think about switching and routing. All right, but there's more in the infrastructure than that. There's voice. There's wireless. There's infrastructure services like MPLS, SLAs, QoS, um, network access, uh, etc. All of these need to be managed as well. And we need to do so in a heterogeneous environment because there are very few pure environments out there from end to end. So IMC, here you can see a lot of the different modules that manage all the different technologies within um, in, an infrastructure. But there's also support in there for almost 3,000 devices from third-party vendors. So rather than having to learn the command line interface for absolutely every piece of hardware I've ever bought, I might only have to learn this one tool? Absolutely, absolutely. And you know the benefits of that are, are, are numerous, but that is, that is the idea. Number one, let's get people away from the command line because that's a source of problems, you know. Um, let's abstract the command line and abstract it from not only our devices, but Cisco's devices, Foundries, Junipers, Nortels, and all the other vendors. Let's abstract the command line away so that people can manage how they need to manage. But what am I going to do with my Cisco certification? Hang it on the wall. It'll look good there, right? I think they look good hanging on the wall. <clears throat> so, and as I understand it, this tool has change control. So it's not just I can give a junior tech access and he can go destroy my network. You've got things yeah. in there to, to prevent that? Absolutely. Well, you know, we've seen some major outages, you know, in the country here um, as of late. And a lot of them have been due to change in configuration problems. They've all been tracked back to change in configuration problems. So, yes, you can give that junior tech as well as a senior tech, as well as your CCIE, you can give him access so that he can do change management through there. Now, through IMC. Now, in doing it through IMC, we have an audit trail of who did what and what they did. But then I can't blame the intern. Well, you know what? Mean time to innocence is the new term for IT. All right. We know about mean time to repair. We need to optimize that. And IMC is going to help do that by reducing the number of tools. But everybody likes to point the finger at IT. Right? So now we're going to help them with that mean time to innocence. It's not me. All right? So overall, is there any kind of device that this isn't going to work with? Is there some, you know, oh, it, it sounds too good to be true. Well, I, I, okay, let me, let me make it perfectly clear. It is not Nirvana. All right, but it's darn close. All right. Um, there are too many devices out there. There are just too many devices out there. But our library of devices that we model and manage is growing with each and every release. How big does my network need to be in order to make this a valuable asset to it? I mean, if I'm managing six computers, obviously I don't need this tool. But no. what's, the, what's the size at which this really starts to shape how I manage my network? Well, you know, that's one of those fuzzy lines. Um, you know, generally a, a, a hundred node network, not a hundred user, a hundred nodes, hundred devices that you want to manage. Generally at that point and above is when you really want to start to bring in a, a serious management platform. You know, because at a hundred nodes, and, you know, a hundred nodes or a hundred devices, that's a fairly, that's a sizable network. You know, um, and that sizable network will be will have business critical applications and services um, that we need to keep the infrastructure up available at all times. And as I understand that this is not just a uptime management tool, it's a security management oh, tool. You're going to yeah. manage how my wireless users access the network and how my guests manage my network? Absolutely. It's all part of the infrastructure. 
So, so it's part of the management, all right? So there's two basic um, aspects, um, whether you're wired or wireless to controlling access. One is just controlling who gets on and what they have access to. And that's just called access management. And we do that wired or wireless, all right? Does Jake get on my network? And if he doesn't pass authentication, I'm gonna kick him off or I'm gonna put him in an isolation area. Piece of cake. Then the next thing that we wanna layer on top of that is let's do what's called traditional NAC. Before I let Jake onto the, um, my network, I'm gonna check who he is, but then I'm gonna run down this checklist on his PC. Antivirus, firewall rules, registry keys, software patches, etc., etc., to make sure his system is clean before I let him on. If his system's not clean, maybe I isolate him, maybe I send him a web page with where he can go get remediation and go get his system cleaned up before I let him on. But now, what I'm here's what we're doing in unifying our resource management, as we've talked about before, is every vendor has something similar, maybe more or less but they don't incorporate it as part of their management solution. It's a separate tool, again. All right, so what we do is we incorporate that into our management solution. So from the very same console that you're seeing, you're switching and you're routing and your wireless devices and so forth and managing them and monitoring, you can see users online and you can see the health of their systems when they got access, whether it be wired or wireless. So this is an intrusion detection, virus preventing, entire solution, like? Yeah, it's an infrastructure management solution. Cool, well, thanks for your time today, Les. Thanks for your time, I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you.